All right, unfortunately, we have an issue with the Rolex Datejust. And in my opinion, this is the demise of the Datejust and really why I think the Submariner is the more superior watch. You might not be able to tell uh, from the naked eye, but when I zoom in, you can clearly see that the fluted bezel has like a rock chip or something on it. Uh, and it's one of those things that you can't really fix. You can always polish a bracelet, but you can't fix the white gold. You definitely don't want to polish it. I don't even know how you would. I'm not even sure how Rolex would do it. But it's one of those things that you can't really fix. And this is why it's just so delicate. Might I add that I am pretty careful with it. However, I do cycle to work and the watch can be exposed on the road and you got trucks moving by, debris blowing out my face. And sometimes I do get worried that um, I might take a tumble and just land on my arm, crack the sapphire, bend the fluted bezel and just really muck it up like it was as if I got into a motorcycle accident. Because I do ride a road bike, which can go pretty fast. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those risks I'm willing to take. And guys, by the way, if you want to see photos of me wearing my watches, me out and about in the city, then you can follow my Instagram at Simply Submariner. I'll link it down below. And while the damage is replaceable, I don't believe it's repairable. It also really surprises me how pieces from the 70s and 80s uh, still have shiny uh, fluted bezels without any scuffs um, because it's so delicate but still a beautiful watch here's the condition of the bracelet how it looks in the sun and not the sun let me know if this changes your mind on getting a day chest over a sports model oh no this bike got knocked over also let me know what kind of videos you want to see because i feel like i've done Every kind of video with the Samariner and Date Just, and I don't want to just make random videos anymore. I want to know what you guys want to see, and I'll try and make those videos. See you in the next one. Oh, looks like he's found his bike on the ground. Doesn't really look happy for obvious reasons, but get on him. It sucks.